Dixie Edricks, how are you doing? I'm good, yeah, how are you? I'm good, it's so good to have you on. I loved that film, you were so amazing in that Secret Garden is like, you know, one of the most classic novels that I read when I was a kid and, and it's, you know, come to life a few times and I really love this iteration of it. It was so beautiful and you're such a wonderful Mary and it was so well shot and it, it was, you're going to have such an amazing career, Summerland and everything that you're doing. I'm so excited for you. Oh, thank you very much. It's very nice. Yeah. See. No, I mean every word of it, but let's, let's start from the beginning. Dixie, where'd you grow up? Um, I'm from London in England. So. Nice. What part? Um, Southwest, you know. So okay. Quite, um, I don't, I'm, I don't think you're from London, so I'm not. I, I spent time there. I, I was like, I stayed by the Tower of London, so I don't even know what. Oh, yeah. that's, I don't, I don't think that's very near. I actually yeah. went to South London, though. They were doing this, like, uh, immersive production of the picture of Dorian Gray in a townhouse in South London. You know what? It was nuts. I went to this townhouse in London, and everyone was in character, and it was like very bizarre. And one of the most that's interesting. That's quite unique. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was unique. unique. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm actually still friends with some of the people that I saw it with because it was such a weird experience. But enough about me. Let's talk about you. <laughs> How did you get into this? What What do your parents do? Are Are they artists? Um. Well, uh, my mom's a florist. So, oh, so she's definitely um, an artist. Well, yeah, somewhat, you know, quite creative. In Did she area. set design Secret Garden, I hope? Um, well, I'm sure she would have loved to, but yeah. <laughs> but no, she did not. She did not. Though she was very appreciative of the beauty of the set, I suppose. And my dad is a designer, you know. Oh, so, so he, he totally. Actually, I, he went to art college, so yeah. Somewhat oh, of an artist. So growing up, you know, were you reading a lot of novels and watching a lot of TV? Like, where did the activation happen with acting for you? I mean, I did, I read a lot, a lot when I was younger. Um, I should probably start reading a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I got a bunch of books over here that I've yeah. yet to read. <laughs> <laughs> but I did, I did read a lot when I was very little. And, um, but no, I mean, it kind of started a little, a little bit by accident, you know, kind of, kind of randomly. Um, basically, I was, because I think it's kind of embarrassing, I don't, I didn't really do any like drama lessons um, and I was actually really embarrassed because when we had drama in school, yeah, I never really like, because I was so embarrassed in front of my friends. Oh, me too. Um, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's quite... Still am. <laughs> but, um, but I I basically was at school and this casting director came and it was like a open casting, I guess, and she was looking at people and then she asked a couple of like people to come in for an audition and mm. I did because she asked. And um, and then like she asked for another audition and then I just kind of kept doing it. You know, I, I got an agent and then I was like, oh, I quite like this, you know, may as well keep doing it. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And, and, you know, obviously I know in the UK, you guys have so many amazing like period dramas and what, what were some of the things that you were starting to go in for? Was it, was it younger characters than those or um, was, was it contemporary stuff or was it a mix of everything? It was, it was a mix. I mean, it wasn't like I was, I was, I mean, I still am certainly not in a position to pick and choose, you know. What you're getting there. Like, you're going to be, yeah. you're going to be massive, I promise <laughs> no, you. But like, but um, it was just kind of, I can't quite remember. It was, the first thing I did was something, a period thing. So and how was that? Yes. Um, that was, it was something called Churchill. It was like about Winston Churchill, basically, kind of. Um, and I had like a tiny weeny part in that. And it was actually really fun because I didn't re I didn't say anything. All I did was like spend one day on a beach um, and I got fish and chips afterwards. So oh, was, amazing. Was <laughs> <laughs> the British dream. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was quite fun to be fair. And then I just kind of, I just, yeah, like I said, I just kind of kept doing it. And then w once you started, you know, getting auditions and things like that, did you then like seek out a coach or, you know, did you go to classes or what was yeah. your no, um, no. <laughs> no. You learned just, by auditioning? Was that kind of how? I think maybe I did. I mean, I didn't really, I don't know if there's like a conscious process of being like, right, today I'm going to learn how to act. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I didn't like sit down and think, oh, let me learn how to do this. I don't know. I just kind of did what the script says um, and tried to make it look realistic, which is kind of the job. Yeah, um, totally. Yeah, I did that. And then, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a coach or anything. Wow, that's amazing. 
and what whatever you know when you had auditions you know i know obviously post covid it's all self tapes now but when you were going in the room were were your parents coming with you and were they helping you figure it out or was it totally dixie solo no it was very much me i'd be so oh my god crazy. you're going to be the biggest star in the world look at you <laughs> no, 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 you're making better choices than me and i'm 30 <laughs> <laughs> no i i'd have been so embarrassed i'm still embarrassed. with if my mom is there or if my dad's there i would just be oh even watching the film with my parents i was really embarrassing really way. no yeah. way why yeah. 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 It's, not, it's not that i'm like not proud of it because i am but it's kind of it's just kind of weird you know because like the secret garden we filmed it like two years ago um and i was about i was 12 um and i'm almost 15 i'm, yeah. I'm 15 on saturday not oh next, wait so, ne in, yeah, next week next week on oh so, so nine days from now or yes. happy birthday no no no, no. A week tomorrow, so I'm then 15. Oh, anyway, that's, yeah. Hallow's Eve, look at you. Happy <laughs> yeah. birthday, Dixie. Thank you. If I had a better uh, voice, I would sing to you right now, but uh, for the audience and for your right. ears, yeah. I won't do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, so the thing is, I did it when I was about 12, and it was, I mean, I just, I was just kind of like, oh, like, oh, I look yeah. like that, like two years ago, that's oh, embarrassing. <laughs> But you know, I mean, it's all right. I quite like the film, to be fair. I'm a yeah. little bit biased, but I I liked it. Oh, I love the film. Tell <laughs> tell me how did how did it come your way? So you, let's start from the beginning. So you did the Churchill thing, and then I I know you had some other credits, and then you obviously did Summerland, and you even did that that Game of Thrones prequel that unfortunately didn't go. But yeah. in order of of progression of things, once you got that Churchill credit, did you start getting seen for bigger and bigger things? I'm not, I don't quite remember. I think it was just kind of, it was, it, it hasn't like, you know, taken over my normal life. It's just, you know, something like on the side, you know? Yeah. Like, so it's, it's, I don't quite remember if there was like a change in anything, but I just, you know, I did a couple of things, had, had fun, you know? Yeah. Um, and then I did Secret Garden. I got the audition for it and it was actually a self tape um amazing who, who did you have a friend do it then if you didn't have your parents uh, no no my mom my mom does it she like yeah it's it's i think doing a self type is actually quite a lot harder than like an in-person I, I agree because you can't sell yourself or just like let your well, natural also like you keep doing it again yeah you know like you, you keep retrying it whereas in normal station they just do it like twice and they'd be like okay yeah, because you can um, accidentally mess up more and then you spend two hours on the yeah, self-tape yeah. versus two minutes in a room yeah, exactly. I don't know. Anyway, so started like that, and I um, talking about birthdays. I sent off the first self tape for the Secret Garden on my twelfth birthday. Wow! Yeah. Happy, happy yeah. birthday! Look at that. Three years later, <laughs> here we are. And and anyway. when you got that self tape, did you did your agents or the casting director did you know that they were interested in you, or was it a pretty wide search at that point? Um. I get, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. I don't think, I I don't, unless I'm wrong, I don't really find that they say that much, you know? Yeah. Like, they don't really say, like, oh, that was really good or that was really bad. Like, yeah. they just didn't really say anything. So I didn't really hear anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then I just, and then I got, like, I can't remember how many, but I got quite a few recalls. It was kind of, it was kind of a long process, I think. Um, and I read with some other boys for um, the boys part, um, Colin and Dickon. Yeah, That's who were so amazing. What, yeah, what, are the, yeah. what are their I names? Mean, yeah. Really, really good. Um, but I remember some other people for that. And then and then I got a little phone call and they were just like, oh, you've got it. And I was like, oh, wow. And was <laughs> was Colin Firth at this point attached already? Or? I can't remember. Maybe. I, I honestly, sorry, I know I keep saying I can't remember. No, it's I, okay. I didn't really <laughs> take much note, to be fair. But um, may, maybe. Who knows? So I certainly was not paying attention. So <laughs> that's on oh. me. But um yeah and then i got it and it was quite cool because i was like oh wow i really like this book and then they're gonna make it into another film so yeah and, and so talk to me when when you got that call that you were going to be married you know was it did you have an idea of what you were about to go the quest you were about to go on or was it were you, were you super excited were you nervous was it everything i mean it was kind of like nervousness and excitement i think i don't think i was thinking like oh um I know exactly how I'm going to do it because yeah. I hadn't even seen the full script at that point, you know, and even, even reading a script, you, you have no idea how it's going to look. When totally. you Until you see the movie sometimes yeah. even. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
So I was, I was, I was really nervous to be fair, because it's quite, it's quite a big um, role. So, you know, I was kind of like, oh, that'll be quite scary to do, but it ended up, I ended up enjoying it. Yeah. It was, it was one of my, I'm curious. Cause like, you know, obviously you're, you're in London, you know, theater's huge and there are plays that are done all the time. And this, this, you know, novel has been made many times. Did you strategically stay away from watching any of the other versions or had you seen some of the other ones? Um, obviously I read the book, um, but I, I did watch, there was one version which was made in like the 1940s. I can't remember the exact year, but it was made in the 40s. Wow. And I watched that um, version of the, of the book, like The Secret Garden. I really liked it. It was, it was the one where I think it was like black and white. And then when, when they went into the garden, it went all to color. I wow, think quite- that's so cool. But- um, and I, I think even Colin Firth did a version of it as the younger character, didn't he? Yeah, I again, I didn't, I didn't watch any of them apart from that one, but I think he did. Yeah, that's amazing. So then, when you get the script and you read it, you know, do you, you know, obviously when it's on the page versus when you're on the set are two totally different things. When you met with the director, did you guys start to kind of figure out marry together? Or did you bring your own ideas? Like, how was your process? I mean, so we had a bunch of rehearsals before the actual filming, yeah. which I think is, I mean, that's definitely a good thing because it would have been very, very um, nerve wracking and intimidating to just go straight into like Yeah, filming. I just, you know, Georgie Henley, cause you guys did. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just had her on and she was talking about on Narnia. She showed up on day one and was looking in the camera, didn't even know she wasn't supposed <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would, yeah, I would not have been, very, I, I'm glad we had the preparation time, very glad. But um, so yeah, what you were saying about um, the character, yeah, Mark was, um, he, I think he did talk a lot about the character and everything, but he would always listen. I think that was kind of, that was what's kind of cool because it was sort of like collaborative in a yeah. way, you know what I mean? Because it wasn't like he was just saying, okay, you have to do this and this and this. Like we kind of discussed it, which yeah. was quite cool. Um, but yeah, so it, I I didn't really know, to be honest. I only knew the character from the book and I didn't really think that much about it apart from what the script said, if you know yeah. what I mean. I didn't come in with like a, pre, a pre-thought a idea. A biography of everything that went through her <laughs> yeah, life yeah. <laughs> in India. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And, and so when you get, a, you know, and you're working with like tons of adults and filmmakers, and I imagine, you know, obviously you're very mature. You, you're going to be such a huge star. I know it. Where was it tough for you? You know, being young. Like, do you felt? Did you feel like you you got respected like an adult? Or you know, because like I know that can be hard when you're younger. Like people treating you like you're younger than you are. And especially when I was young, I hated that. I was like, no, you you think you're so so much older, you know? And you're like, just talk to me like a human. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess so. I think. Yeah, probably. They, I mean, they all treated me just very normally, you know, differently, I suppose. Um, like, I actually had a lot of fun with the crew as well. as the That's great. Else, just because the crew, were, yeah, the crew were there every day. And they actually do so much. And that was what kind of surprised me about the whole process, just because I didn't really realise how many jobs there were, you know, yeah. like behind the camera as well as in front of it. So um, I think in terms of like, yeah, treating, being treated like an adult. I, I suppose so. Um, yeah, but it wasn't like noticeable. It was just, you know, I, I, I wasn't patronized, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. Cool. Um, and yeah. Do you feel like this, this film was your, your drama school and your film school in some ways, coming and getting this chance to, to do this and, you know, work every day? And you said you got rehearsal, you know, like, do you feel like that really kind of like, upped your game and, and you felt really confident walking away from this? Um, yeah, probably. It probably helped with confidence a lot, I guess, just because, like I said, I was, it was quite a lot, you know, it was quite yeah. intense. It was like almost every day for about like a few months, you know, wow, yeah. the, the filming thing. So yeah, I mean, I think because it was quite intense, I learned a lot and probably did gain um, a little bit more confidence, which is a good thing, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And, and for all the, you know, obviously it's set in a 
a manor or a state, you know, but obviously in Hollywood, they can do studios, but for the garden elements, were, was that a real garden or was that on a set? Yeah, so the garden that you see in the film is basically like, uh, like a mash of all the, of a bunch of different gardens that we went to, like in up and down the UK. Wow. So yeah, yeah. So that was, and there's actually like very, very little CGI use. Um, um, but yeah, so what they did was we filmed in a bunch of locations and that was actually kind of what was so fun about it because we would be like two days in Cornwall and then like a, a couple of days in Wales and stuff. So it was, it was kind of, um, kind of like a mini tour. If you yeah. Say. Yeah. You so got to travel doing, like a, a yeah, rock star. Yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, all these like places of nature in the UK. And I really enjoyed it because I actually had no idea that gardens and stuff like that existed in Britain. Um, so it was kind of, you know, a learning curve in that way. Was that your first time, like traveling that much in the UK, like seeing other um, parts of it? Yeah, I mean, seeing seeing that many parts of it in such a small space of time, definitely. Yeah, totally. Because um, like, that's what, you know, for the American listeners, you know, that that's the thing I, I love so much about the UK is like, it it is, you know, a smaller country in size, but it's so rich and it changes so much you know, just by going two blocks in London, you can hear a different accent and by going one town over, it's a totally different vibe. And it's, it's amazing in that way. Yeah. Yeah, no. So I, I agree. Yeah, it was, it was really, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed going to all the different places because I got to see stuff, which I probably wouldn't have seen if I'd gone to those places. Like, for example, you know, there was a garden in Cornwall, which was called Tree Bar. That was yeah. my favorite one. Um, I really like which one was that was that the one with the the water or um it had it was the one with these there are these plants called gunnera plants and yeah. they were like big leaves um there was a there's a bit in the film where we're like running through them and stuff okay um, but that was where that was in that big garden but that was crazy and I think it was kind of cool because if I'd gone to Cornwall I probably wouldn't have gone there you know like you probably wouldn't have gone there normally um if you were going on like holiday or something yeah. yeah I just got to see places which I probably wouldn't have seen normally which I thought was quite valuable you know yeah like, yeah and and talk to me when you got that you know obviously a few months you did you have to leave school and do the homeschooling thing on set yeah yeah so um I had to I missed the whole because I don't it's pro probably different in America but we have like terms so there's yeah like, autumn winter term spring term and summer term oh you I have think. summer terms there yeah 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 so it's like that's i can't remember when it starts and ends but that's kind of the end of the spring term to the summer holidays right yeah. so i missed the whole of the summer term which is like a few months um and i missed it but i had to have tutoring and i had a really nice tutor she was called hannah she was really nice and very clever um and she basically taught me everything that i would have learned at school um wow while we were on set and it was actually it was kind of challenging to be fair just because balancing both yeah yeah and also yeah with, like the law there's only a certain amount of hours that I'm allowed to like work at a time but also we have to get in a certain amount of hours of tutoring by the end of the week and so it's quite difficult to fit in like the learning um w with all the filming you know and getting yeah. that by the end of the week like the required amount um and yeah, so I had to have like a few doubles to try and um, a few doubles so that when it was like the back of my head that they could just use the back of someone else's head instead. Yeah, of so you could so study, study math and then take your quiz. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. How, how did your friends take the news when you got this? Did you tell them or did you not? Um, I mean, I had to tell them. I was like off for the entire term. I'm yeah. really, really nice about it, you know, really happy for me. I was really glad about that, actually. But um, yeah, they were very happy for me. But also it was cool because when I went back, like nothing had changed, you know? And that yeah. was kind of nice. It was nice for normal, normality. Totally, um, like, a pandemonium. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think, yeah, but they were really nice about it. And I was very, I'm very lucky to have them. Yeah, well, that's amazing. And how is it working with Colin and, and Mark? Was that a really fun experience? Yeah, yeah. With I mean, with Colin, it was obviously really cool because you know he's. Did you know his work at that point? I mean, like you know, yeah. the King's yeah, Man I mean, and other so many yeah, amazing. Yeah, I'd I'd seen I'd seen films with him in and TV shows, so I you know I obviously knew who he was, and um, 
yeah it was it was kind of crazy because it was interesting like how you see people on telly and or in films and stuff and then you're suddenly like next minute you're just working with them in yeah. real life yeah. yeah I found that kind of kind of mad but um he was just really nice you know very very lovely obviously very good at what he does but I, I really enjoyed it. It was a really good experience. Yeah, that's amazing. And when, when the film wrapped, was it was that a hard, you know, time for you to say goodbye to Mary and the project? Um kind of but kind of not. I mean, it had been like a lot of work. Um, so obviously there was an element of like, oh, okay, we can kind of rest now. But yeah. um but also it was, you know, I was actually kind of sad because it had been really, really good fun filming it, what with meeting all the people you know not only the cast but like I said the crew um and I know this is like so corny and like loads of people say it but it did kind of feel like there was like a big family you know yeah of course yeah um um, so that was it was kind of sad when we finished but I it didn't really finish because I had to do obviously like ADR yeah recording did you guys have to do any pickups or did you get everything on the first go no we, we had to do quite a lot of um pickups of stuff actually especially because when I the f- for the first bit of filming I had really bad hay fever so my oh, nose no. was like, my nose was like this and I sounded really weird for like a lot of the- <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine they had to re-record a bunch of lines um so that was exciting that was good fun but um but yeah no I think so it wasn't like an abrupt like okay we're not gonna talk about this or do this ever again because yeah we still had to do stuff to do with the film. I mean, it's still going on now, like two years later. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the beautiful part is, you know, you do this thing and then two years later it comes out and then you got to do it all over again. <laughs> and so when you finished that film, at that point, did you feel interested in, in doing drama at school or things like that? Um, I mean, I definitely, I, I know it sounds like I've been like slagging it off. I'm not at all. No, I, no, no, no. I really, um, kind of although I'm not necessarily a shy person I was always kind of shy in front of my friends again I mean I guess I kind of viewed it differently but um I'm not I I don't I don't know I I'm not doing it now um yeah. I dropped the subject for because for, of GCSEs um which is like an exam that we have to do in the UK anyway um so I'm not doing it for GCSE so but um afterwards I feel like I yeah I definitely changed my approach to it a little I suppose and did you feel a lot more, you know, in comfortable in your own skin, having performed every day? Like, do you feel like? Yeah, I actually do think so. Probably, I was actually, to be honest, after doing like the actual um, filming and acting, I'm, I was definitely a lot less self conscious, yeah. which is kind of a good thing, but also not necessarily a great thing. But I think it is probably a good thing because you know, I guess I got a little more confident yeah it's a great thing and then when, when that finished you know were, were your parents excited for you to do more work or were they like we got to get you back to school yeah I mean to be honest there wasn't like a there wasn't a discernible change because it's always just been like oh by the way you have a um audition on like Friday and it's like oh okay I'll learn it like it's not like a you have to really focus on school or yeah. like you have to really focus on getting a bunch of jobs it's always just been like on the side so there wasn't really a change in the way that they behaved towards it I don't think and and would you say your auditions because you had this huge project under your belt you know you started going in for cooler and cooler things like maybe things you were watching um again that's a very boring answer I'm not quite sure maybe I I just I don't think I really paid that much attention I think also a lot of the time you don't really know what you're yeah doing. what it is because they do yeah, fake they, sides yeah, sometimes the they make like random names for it before you do it and yeah so you don't know what it is so not that I was able to notice I don't think but, what, um, what what were you watching when you finished like were there any shows you were like I gotta get on that one <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't I don't think so I think that because like I said it's kind of random doing it it's kind of you don't really know what's like around the corner I guess you don't really know what you're gonna do next and it's kind of um I don't think I'm in a position to be choosy about like oh I want to do this show or I want to do this because it's kind of random and it's not really a case of um it's mo- it's mostly a case of luck to be honest doing stuff because like yeah, but it's a lot of hard work you worked really hard you know 
true. I mean, I, yeah, I guess. But um, I appreciate the humility, though. I mean, you know, I, I, being humble is super important. But yeah, you know, you, you've been working really hard, you know? Yeah, I suppose. But um, I don't know. I don't think there was like a specific change in the way I viewed doing acting, I think. What about like goals? Did your goals at all? Like, did you start to make some goals of things that you wanted to do? Um, Even if they weren't acting maybe, related? Yeah, I mean, maybe subconsciously, you know, I suppose that you, I know this is like, this isn't really a goal, but you always want to improve at what you're doing, I yeah. guess. And so I think maybe I was more encouraged to improve at what I was doing, whether it be um, maths at school or yeah. acting, you know, I, I had more of a drive to, um, yeah, improve my, improve what I did, I suppose, the quality of what I did. And were you ever, you know, being in London, were you ever going to see plays much or, you know, for school even? Um, yeah, sometimes for school, actually. Yeah. There are a couple of times where you've seen plays um, for school, actually sometimes in primary school. But um, yeah, I think actually there's definitely um, a big, like theatre is like really big, in, especially in London, right? I know, I'm so jealous. <laughs> actually, it's um, I, um, it's quite cool because my mum, so you know how I said she was a florist? Yeah. She, some, she sometimes, well, she used to a lot more, um, obviously not really with the pandemic, but she does like flowers for like opening night parties of shows. Of oh, theaters. wow. And yeah. do you get to go? Um, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Um, unfortunately not. I don't think it'll be a very child friendly environment, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. But, um, no, the cool thing is that that's, I mean, even literally before I was born, that's kind of what her main, like, clientele is. I yeah. Suppose. So she'd always, like, been quite involved in the theatre stuff in London. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I guess she had. Maybe not me so much. Um, but, yeah, I think that's kind of interesting, you know. And it's kind of random how even though her job as a florist even though she was working in the entertainment bit, it's kind of very far removed from the kind of like stuff that I do in a way. Yeah, like the yeah, it's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of weird coincidence. That's so beautiful. And then I'm curious, you know, were you, um, were you when you started auditioning again, how soon did Summerland happen after, after Secret Garden? Um, really soon. Like I filmed that in, I, we, we finished the Secret Garden in like the summer. So probably like June, July, I can't quite remember, but I filmed Summerland in like October. So oh, it, so it was just yeah, really quick. It was kind of, yeah, it was kind of immediate. Um, and I did you have that. to go back out of school? Yes, but the thing is for Summerland, it was, it was like, it wasn't as much, you know, it was as much. intense. I yeah. I, yeah. I didn't have to get off school for like crazy amounts of time, which was, you know, kind of good because I kind of did need to be back into the normal routine after going that long without um school if you see yeah me. yeah totally and 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 then was that fun you know going you you did this amazing lead to maybe having a little bit less stress and being a supporting character in a film yeah and I also I don't even think I feel like when I'm it's not really about like the 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 big not bigness but like how big the part is you know it's just about I just I had a really good time filming that too yeah which is lucky. That's um, just like I did with Secret Garden. So any of the same people on the crew? Um, yeah, funnily enough, the sound people were the same. Oh, nice! It was quite nice. It was quite nice to have a little bit of family. I guess not family, but you know what I mean. You got the rapport, people, yeah, yeah. People that I was familiar with, and also my tutor on Summerland was the same as the one on Secret Garden. Oh, well, uh, that's amazing! So nice to be fair. Wow, that's so cool. And then at, at what point, you know, I know you. It, may or may not come out but you did the the game of thrones prequel was that after summerland yeah that was like last summer so wow. that was yes so that was um summer 2019 because all the other ones were in 2018 wow and, last, yeah. and how was that how is it when you did have you what i mean i know you're 15 have you watched the show i have not yeah no. I, yeah i, I mean <laughs> no i i feel like it might not be very appropriate. No, yeah, yeah. Give, give, wait two more years and then, yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe I will. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't say I sent you there. <laughs> um, but um, when you no, got... I, yeah, sorry, what were you saying? Oh, when you got that audition, did you even, you know, we were just talking about how sometimes things are under fake names. Since, oh, yeah, you yeah. know... I, I had no idea it was for the prequel for Game of Thrones. I had literally no idea. 
But did you, you, did you as like takes, you know, Game of Thrones was this thing, this event? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I did know that it was like a thing. Yeah, I knew it was like a TV series. I I knew it existed. Yes. And so how how was that experience when you, when you had that audition for that? You know, obviously you you probably found out later what it was for. Was that, was that really exciting when you got the phone call that you were going to do that? Um, yeah, I mean, to be honest, the audition was like surprisingly short. Um, and it wasn't even like what the actual script was because again, they were very secret. fake, fake scripts. I know. Yeah. They, yeah. yeah. But it was good. Yeah. And that like experience for me, it was really fun to be fair. I really enjoyed it. Um, was the set grander than Secret Garden? You know, I imagine there are, or was it all green screen? Um, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I can probably say i mean it's not really a secret but you know i don't know if i could probably say but it's like i'm not sure there was a lot of green screen though yeah that's awesome and was that a challenge to you acting in front of that versus you know having a a real practical set i mean yeah i guess so i i guess so it's it's kind of i i i don't like kind of stuff with green screen before but not really i mean there was i did a short film where i had to um walk on wire yeah, right yeah yeah, that yeah. One, that one. Mir- but miretta is that am i saying it mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. How, yeah, how was it. It. Um, how was that experience doing that one was that fun that was really cool i really because i actually obviously had to learn how to actually walk a high wire so let's um, talk about that how did yeah. that how did that come your way was that an audition I mean, or that was the year so that was the year before i did the secret garden um i really like that that was i mean it's a book like a picture book um and I and yeah there was a film adaptation that was really good fun to film to be fair it was in like we filmed it in France in a little place called Perigol or place in the south of France I really liked it, it was, was that your first time going there yes first time going to France wow so, so cool exciting times but um yeah I think it was yes, yes. and so you yeah. had to learn how to walk on wire actually mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. and um that was interesting um, it was quite cool because you'd start, there's this thing called like a slack line, which is kind, it's like a flat, kind of like, if you think about spaghetti noodles, it's kind of like linguine, you know, it's kind of yeah. flat and bouncy sort of, right? And obviously a, a tight, like a high wire is completely firm and very thin, right? Very, very taut and like, so we had to start off on a slack line to try and get balance. And that was fine. It was quite difficult to be fair. And, but at um, that point you're not elevated, right? You're like, just, no, 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 no. Yeah, you're like, yeah this much of the ground yeah yeah but yeah. um that was fun you know quite interesting quite cool a difficult process but then when you like learn how to get pretty good on the slack line you go onto the high wire or the tie wire and that was really really cool that was my favorite it was really it was difficult um but what i was saying about the green screen was there's a bit where like the character right like walks from one building to another on a wire and obviously, I was not going to walk from one yeah. to another. <laughs> so obviously, the eleven-year-old me was not up to that. Yeah, yeah. So what I had to do was um, get have a green screen behind me. It was a big one, but actually, quite interestingly, um, the actual—I don't know if "interestingly" is a word. No, it's the actual, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> the actual like wire that I did was actually quite high off the ground. I mean, there was a crash mount underneath, but it had to be quite high to look as though, like, when you film it. So there's like a reasonable about a distance. Yeah, so the camera can look like it's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like it's in the sky, you know what I mean? So um, I kind of, yeah, it was fine. So talking about, I keep getting off topic, but like you're talking about green screens and stuff. Um, and so I kind of had to act with a green screen for that, um, which is quite interesting experience. I mean, it's more difficult than doing the real thing, obviously. Yeah. And you feel a bit silly sometimes yeah, totally. because you're like smiling at a literal like piece of like a literal green sheet. So yeah. it's kind of stupid, but um, you know, the end result's good sometimes. I suppose. Yeah. And uh, was that your first time, you know, when that one was done seeing yourself, Miretta, was that your first time like going from shooting and then finally watching something of yourself? Um, n- no, I mean, because the stuff I'd done before, even though it was small, like, not they weren't all like you know i could see them like i, I yeah weren't all like inappropriate you know what i mean but um so yeah I'd, I'd seen i'd seen stuff before but that was quite even though it was a short film it was like it was 28 track. minutes yeah it's it's a, yeah it's it like was, a first act to a film almost <laughs> um and yeah it was the 
the main character. So that was quite weird because even though it was only a 28 minute long film, I was in quite a few of those minutes. Yeah. So, no, it was quite a bit of screen time, but it was, it was a really fun thing to film that was. That's amazing. And so then talk to me now, now that all these films have been out, what's it been like, you know, now you're doing the, the press rounds for these, like, is it been weird to go back? Because, you, you know, when you're young, when you're 12 and you're 15, that's like a 30 year difference almost. Is it weird to watch a younger version of yourself? Like, yeah, yeah it's, it's really weird to be honest. Um, not only in the fact that I'm like, oh, I looked like that when I was 12. <laughs> I also, also because, um, I actually sometimes end up thinking like, oh, I could have done that a little bit better or I could have done that differently, you know? All those actors were built like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Even though, like, I get that it's probably a good thing that I'm thinking like that, it still makes it kind of weird to watch a film all the way through. Yeah. And also because I was like, I was there when it was being filmed, so I know like- What's really happening. Like, behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, which again is weird, but it's it's kind of cool to see how it all comes together, you know, because like originally, if I, like, if you just asked me how it would look straight out of filming it, I would have no idea because it actually, it's it's kind of weird being from like the perspective of on the camera and you can't yeah. really see like how everything comes together. But I think it was quite cool. I think yeah. it did as well. Yeah, it, it was so amazing. I loved it. It was, you know, the, the true testament, I think now of like how good a film is, is the amount of times you pick your phone up and I watched that film without picking my phone up once. Oh, that is quite the compliment. I know. Yeah, you were, you were, you were that great. You really were so wonderful. And I'm curious, you know, since, you know, it's been a, a weird time in the world, what, what have you been doing to keep yourself sane and, and happy and inspired? Are you still in school? Is that here yeah. in America? It's all over the place. So I don't know what's like there. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a sticky, it's a weird one. Um, so we had like a proper, like proper, proper lockdown started in March and I don't remember when it ended, but it was like a good few months. Yeah. But basically I wasn't, I was doing online school from March to the end of the summer, right? Yeah. The week. Um, which was, I mean, to be honest, that was when like the major lockdown was. So that was kind of how I kept myself busy to be. You, you literally like, had work to do every yeah, day. I yeah. literally, I had, I, I didn't really have time to think about it ponder anything yeah. I didn't to, you know, you're like hmm, it's kind yeah. of weird in like a pandemic I was just getting on with stuff so um that was a weird one yeah but, um I feel like so I'm back at school now physically back at school is that great um, yes but no because we we all have to wear masks like, oh. things, like all day and even though like don't get me wrong I completely understand why we need to yeah for sure it. My face uh, reaction is just that thinking yeah. me in school wearing a mask. I'm like, <laughs> I'd be miserable. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, it's, it's quite uncomfortable. You yeah. Know what I mean? Like it is quite uncomfortable sometimes, but, um, and also things have changed like certain, like you can only walk one way down the corridor, which is kind of silly, but Weird. whatever. I'm not one to judge. <laughs> yeah. But, um, like certain things have been put in place to make school more like safe for us i think which is a good thing but a bad thing at the same time just because it it's quite difficult to get used to you know what i mean and and, and um, here, here in america I'm, I'm curious to ask you i don't know how you guys do it like when you're we have what's called elementary which i think would be your primary then we have middle and then we have high school and mm -hmm. like high school is from like 14 to 18. are you in high school now uh, yeah. so technically i would be in high school because i'm in Okay, here's how it works. Yeah, tell me. I want to know. <laughs> this high school, is that like ninth grade for you? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Ninth grade. Yeah. I'm in year 10, which is ninth grade because we're like one year up. So ah. year 10 is ninth grade. Um, and what yeah, year so do you finish? What, what's the end? Oh, it's, it's, it's really complex. We have like something called sixth form, which is like when you do A levels. A levels is like when you get into universities. Sixth form is like, year 12, year 13. So that would be, the, the end of secondary school is year 13, which is 12th grade for you. Is that-, God, is that it, right? That's 100% right. So just add yeah. one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. what we figured it out. Add <laughs> one, guys. Wow. And, and so now that you're, you, you're, you're close, you know, are you starting to think about university? Is that something you're interested in? Um, I mean, actually, I've got my GCSEs next year in year 11. So GCSEs are like, 
general like standard thing for like secondary schools we, we call them SATs here okay all right yeah yeah yeah, like, yeah. So that, I got that next year um which is you know quite a scary prospect I suppose oh I know I had to take them twice it's not fun really? yeah, yeah. I did it once without a tutor and then the next time I got a tutor. Yeah, I mean, it's, we have to do, yeah, we have to do about 10, which is quite, you know, daunting. But what, I mean, that's just my school. We have to do 10. Um, but I don't know. I think in terms of like career, I haven't even begun to think about universities. You know, that's like a few years away. I'm not even going to think. Yeah, let's not, let's, let's, let's focus on the now. <laughs> Wait, here's but, a better um, question. When do you get to start driving? Yes, I think we get to start driving at like 17. It's quite cool. So you're, That's you're kind of, you know, I'm getting a little bit closer. Yeah, because when we're 15 in the States, we get what's called a learner's permit, where you can drive if your parents are in the car. Do you guys do that there? I have no idea. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I'm not one for Do you even about. drive in London or do you just oh take God, the wow. tube, tube yeah, everywhere? We do. We do I, I use public transport a lot. Do you guys have like train? That sounds really stupid. But like, do you have, I know in New York, you have like a subway or yeah. something? Yeah. Is that similar to the tube? Do you it's, have that? It's, in the it's exactly the same. Uh, Except ours, yours, your, because uh, I've been to London, your guys is close at like midnight, right? Yeah, but there is something called the night tube. So if you're, you know, oh, you're, you're out pon mad pondering about the night, the then. Yeah, yeah then yeah. Uh, ours don't shut down ever. They just like at night, there's not as many. You know what I mean? Okay. That, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Are you at but, the point uh, now where you're just traveling London by the tube on your own? Yeah, I, well, I mean, yes, I guess. I mean, you kind of have to, to go to, um, to get anywhere. Because, like, the thing is, I'm I actually quite, I like, that's a good thing about living in London. You get to use a lot of public transport because it's actually, the majority of the time it works all right. Yeah. Um, it works fine and it gets you from A to B. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I... So I do rely on public transport for the majority of the things. And so, like, I don't know if the minute I turn 17, I'll be like, right, time, yeah. to, get license, <laughs> like, time to get a car. I don't think I'm going to do that. Because, you know, I can, I can do very well without being on the road. I can get from A to B very well. And so, all, all of the UK, right? You can take a train I, if you want to go to Manchester. There are, yeah, there are, yeah. I, I know, there's not a cheap, there's like definitely buses and there's definitely trains everywhere. So that's yeah. fine. And planes, <laughs> I think, are a thing too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> and also the thing is, like my mum didn't even get her driver's license until literally like four years ago. So she's literally been going the majority of her adult life without like getting on public, tra public transport, which I, is- I have friends that are in their forties that don't know how to drive here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one. Driving, quite a daunting prospect, I think. But yeah. it's, a, it's a couple of years away. Sounds yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, talk to me. What What are you watching now? What's been fun? What are you listening to? What's What's exciting to Dixie? Ooh, like um, in terms of, like watching TV. Yeah, or movies, or you know. Yeah. I think um, quite a few. I think I've said this like quite a few times, but like I really like um, the crime stuff on Netflix. Nice. Um, like, what, I, which <laughs> ones? Um, there was what well, I watched. Quite a long time ago, I watched the Ted Bundy tapes. Oh, those are great. Have you seen the Ted Bundy yeah. tapes? You can watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> um, not to, you know, obviously it's a scary thing. Yeah. Ooh, but um, interesting, interesting in a way. I think Fascinating, I'm crazy, fascinated. crazy guy. Oh, yeah, I literally don't even want to think about it. Yeah, I know. But, um, but yeah, he's weird. But um, I like that. I like... I don't really know. I kind of just watch what comes up in the recommended, to be honest. Uh, what and about like Stranger Things or things like that? Are you watching I did, it? I, I did watch Stranger Things. I really like Stranger Things. That's a show I could see you on. I should make a phone call after this. I think they're filming right now. <laughs> I, think, I think so. But um, I did like that. Yeah, it was pretty pretty good. You know, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, but I also, I got, I got Disney Plus. And, oh, um, what are you watching on that? Um, all, I've been watching quite a few of the, um, like, Disney princess movies from when I was younger, because I used nice. to really like them. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I used to love, um, um, what was it called? The one, the one with the frog, the frog prince, but it's like not the Oh, the, the one with the guy. Princess and the frog, princess and the frog. yeah. Yeah, I yeah. I love that one. That was my favorite. So I rewatched that. That's amazing. Um, but yeah. And that's, Are you into Star Wars or no? 
I, I had a little, I had a little phase there, you know, when I was, <laughs> I did like Star Wars quite a bit, but um, I don't really know. They're, they're quite complex, aren't they? Yeah, I, I'm not into them myself. I, I, you know. Sorry, fans. I, I don't, sorry, I don't, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, same here. It's too to much. Keep up with. But I don't know, just quite a few things, really. Yeah. And what about acting wise? Are things starting to pick up for you? Um, I, I guess. I mean, the thing is, it's kind of like, everything's a self tape now yeah same which is, here. like i was saying before it's fine on one hand but on the other hand it's it takes kind of a while to do you know because it's not like you just go in there yeah. do what the person says. it can be months it yeah. can be weeks yeah you yeah. can set it up and like just do it a bunch of times until you get it right and then even then it's just i don't know it's a complex process i suppose but um yeah so obviously people have been quite uncertain because of the virus yeah um, so but there is like stuff is picking up i suppose you yeah I, I i've heard that from yeah georgie and, and other people have you what about like a show like normal people have you watched that yet no i have not no i have not but i've, I've like i've seen stuff about these things um but i i just simply have not watched them because i've been too you're you're studying and you're, I'm still you're a scholar at yeah. this point <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that's amazing. Well, well, final question, Dixie. What, what's you know keeping you inspired during all these crazy times? Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, no, that's. Um, I think probably just by keeping a routine. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. That's, like, I guess it's sort of important, just because, like I was saying before, you know, like I when I when I finished filming the the Secret Garden. I kind of needed to get back into like the school routine, right? Because it's yeah. quite, uh, it's quite different from film. Um, so I think routine is probably what's keeping me. I don't like to use the word sane, but you know, whatever. Like what's keeping it normal? Yeah. Because it's 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 um, important, I think. And yeah, I, I I'm not quite sure. And also like watching stuff and seeing what the people are doing on yeah. social media, all that kind of thing. I know what I've said revolves mostly around my phone and everything, but like also like, you know, other stuff like. I, I, have, have you, oh, you're a baker? Well, I don't like to brag. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I do. Um, no. You know how to cook. What do you cook? <laughs> well, so, no, well, kind of. I mean, I like, I like making, I've got quite the sweet tooth. So I do like baking stuff. Like, uh -oh. for example, I do like a banana bread. I do like brownies. Yeah. Um, when yeah. you were in France, did you get any good macaroons? Those are my favorite. Macaroons? I I really don't mean to be controversial. I'm not a huge fan of macaroons. I, you know, I, I wasn't ever. And then until like late in my 20s, I finally turned. So I also hated avocado when I was younger. So maybe well, there's hope for me then. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll have this conversation hope. again in a year and see what you're <laughs> eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, well, um, has it been cool? What, have, it, have your friends all seen the film at this point? Well, I mean, it literally comes out today in the UK. Oh, so. it does. Okay. <laughs> wow. So, um, actually, this morning, my friend went and saw it with her mom. And her, mom <laughs> her mom cried. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> well, that's amazing. <laughs> I guess that's a compliment. That's but, a huge um, compliment. I cried yeah. on the inside. Ah, well. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Well, Dixie, you're going to be a huge movie star. And it was so fun talking to you. And I really appreciate you taking the time and just talking yeah. about life and school and everything with you is so beautiful. And I'm so excited to see all the things that are going to come for you. And let's do this again in like a year and we'll figure yeah. out what we're eating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Dixie, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Bye. I am thrilled to announce that An Actor Despairs is partnering with a wonderful CBD company called Kind Farms. Everyone out there has heard of CBD. I started taking it a few years ago when I first started getting sober and to help with my anxiety. Sadly, as one can do, I was overtraining in the gym and a friend recommended a topical and a tincture to help with the pain. I tried it. It was okay. However, recently, I was introduced to a product that has really changed my life. Not only has it helped me with anxiety, but I am stronger than I have ever been. I'm able to carry out lifts my body used to prevent me from doing. Kind Farm products have single-handedly changed my life athletically and personally. 
They utilize 100% local licensed farmers, organic cultivation, and CO2 extraction for superior CBD. Kind Farms is turning CBD to a kind alternative to pharmaceuticals. Let's transform tobacco row into hemp row. If you want to get involved, please reach out. Together, we can make a difference. You can use my code RYAN10 for 10% off. You can find them on Instagram at Kind Farms Inc., all one word. That's K I N D P H A R M S I N C. And their website is kindfarmsinc.com. Once again, my code for 10% off is Ryan10.